I'm just back from my fourth consultation. Third surgeon, fourth consultation, and I'm feeling really good actually. I learned some new words and I also got a little bit more confused, um, but tune in and find out what I have learned. The new word I have learnt is ptosis, spelt with a silent P, a little bit like a pterodactyl, and I have got stage three ptosis. Ptosis means saggy, <laughs> saggy boobies. Stage three is the highest stage that you can get to. Completely natural over the years for women to have more saggy boobs, especially after breastfeeding, which I have not done yet. From the age of 16, I think, we used to play the test at school and girls were like, oh, if you can fit a pencil under your boob and it stays there, then you've got saggy boobs. And I could definitely keep a ruler under there. And now I can definitely keep a pencil case. And surgeon confirmed today that my nipples are by my elbows. They were sometimes touching my legs. I was having to sit there with my top off, just having this conversation with my saggy, sad boobs, just pointing to the floor and thinking, what did we do to deserve this? So he moved them up a lot and said, this is where they should be. This is where they are right now. So that made me feel a little bit better about the operation and a little bit worse about the current state of my titties. I also learned that I have a lot of excess skin. I think this is from the days of uni when I used to go out all the time, drink loads of booze, eat cheesy chips as the staple dinner and not do a single little bit of exercise. When I became an adult, I started exercising and eating well, so the boobs just have been like going like this. So loads of excess skin. Unfortunately, he cannot get rid of all of the stretch marks but he can get rid of some of the skin and he will replace skin on top of skin, thick skin, which has to be a good thing, right? I also learnt about different scars. I don't think I'll be having the scar that I thought I would be having. I'll be having something called a Robert Wise scar, which sounds pretty good. I've done a little drawing for you. It looks like this. It's got a line down and then another scar, which is usually hidden underneath the boob. I will be losing my nipples, which I knew anyway. Some people decide to have a nipple sparing mastectomy, which is completely their choice, but there is still a little bit of risk of cancer in that tissue. So for me, I just think I'll get rid of it all. Um, I don't wanna take the risk of that if I'm gonna go through this entire operation. Now this does leave the opportunity for a very creative nipple. It could look like a nipple, or it could be something completely different. I'm thinking maybe like a lollipop, I could have a chubba chup um, and have the scar as, as the lollipop stick. I could maybe have a stick man and have like smiley faces for nipples um, and I could have arms and legs coming off the scar. You know, open, I'm really open to any um, suggestions. So I'll pop them all in a hat and we'll see what we get. Another thing I've learned about is the different types of implant I can have. So I'm not having something called a Dieppe flap, which is where you use your own tissue because I don't have enough tissue on me. I've been a bit of a skinny mini, which for the first time in my life has not worked out well for me. So I don't have enough tissue to make my own boobs out of my own flesh and blood. So I'm having to have these foreign implants put under the skin or maybe under the muscle, not quite sure yet. Two choices, the choice of a round one, which does not look as natural because it's very round, like a football, or I have the choice of a teardrop. So I have for ages been thinking I'll definitely get a teardrop because they look more natural. But I found out today that they can go wandering. They can have a little move about in there, especially if you're doing exercises around your chest, which hula hooping, does a lot. So I'm just imagining myself doing a bit of hula hooping, having some fun, and then all of a sudden I've got an upside down boob, which I don't really want. But I think I'm probably gonna go for the more round football looking shape. Small football, small football, boob size football, not like a gigantic football, that would look great. So I'm feeling hopeful, more positive than I have been for quite a while. Um, I know it's still pretty crappy that I won't ever be able to breastfeed and I'm gonna lose my nipples. Um, but he's put things into perspective a little bit that at least my boobs aren't gonna look so sad anymore. I never have to wear a bra again and I can jump on a trampoline without worrying that my boobs are gonna like fly over my shoulders. That's gotta be a good thing, right?